GRV's wife has been accused of not paying for services. You know how you'll be walking on your own and someone will just come and splash mud on your white? This is exactly what happened for Badiwell Road Weber. He is the man who has dreamt of ruling Lagos through the Labour Party. But Chike Jones, a social media manager, took to the streets of X with a megaphone in his right hand and evidence, lots of it, in his left against Ify Rose Weber, who is Badiwell's wife. Now, Ify, she wasn't really moved by this call out too. She wasn't, she didn't you know, move her. The girl was just an answer. But GRV rushed to Twitter to extinguish the flames. He acknowledged Chike and also has settled the debt, of course. Unfortunately, the damage has truly been done. I mean, it's been a holiday for opponents and they are dragging GRV and his wife just through the mud. And I, I so let me tell you guys what I thought, yeah. When I first saw the thing, I said to myself, ah, Chike, you for chest this thing now, you for chest them because you know, People are going to start dragging GRV. They are going to reuse it as per, oh, they are not upstanding citizens. GRV and his wife are not upstanding. They're not good people and everything like that. But when I read through GRV's wife, Ify, and Chike's tweets, and the whole thing that happened, and how she was owing him money, and their back and forth exchange over years, on how he would try and recoup his money from her, I had to say he had full grounds to expose what if he did to him online the reason why i say that is because a lot of the tweets it just felt like she was always dodging like a lot of the, the exchange that they had on whatsapp she was always dodging saying oh you know my bank has a limit my bank is is, is not allowing me to withdraw money there was always some sort of excuse then the other part that i thought was very weird was this if someone does work for you when you're at the end and it's time to pay them, that's not when you're supposed to be saying, I didn't like the work you did. Especially when it's work that is based on actual, like, data. Like, this is work that the guy delivered. It's while they're doing the work that you tell them, I don't really like this work that you did. But you can't say at the end when it's time to pay that, oh, by the way, oh, I don't really think you lived up to what it is that you were supposed to do. I don't think that the agreements we had that you really lived up to it. You either A, while they are doing the work, fire them, nip it in the bud, or you ensure that while they are doing the work, you're letting them know this work that you're doing is not meeting up to par. And because it's not meeting up to par, I need you to do it again, which if he did sometimes, but she only did that like once or twice. So for her to say, oh, it's because I don't feel like he delivered, that's why I'm not going to pay him. Ah, uh, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. I just, I didn't like it at all. And I feel like Ify is such a smart woman. She's really, really successful in her career. She's done really, really well for herself. And she adds amazing work to when it comes to the sciences. I mean, she's a really smart doctor. So it just felt very straightforward and it didn't feel very crooked. But I'm very happy that GRV has gone ahead and he has settled the matter. You know, but it's definitely cost her husband a lot to his reputation. And I hate to see the fact that his opponents are going to continue to use this to drag him forever. It will never go. They go drag him, dig him, cook him, soup him, add spices to it, make it dessert, cook it again, put it in the air and wave it as their flag for GRV's white has been stained. And I mean, the truth about it is any of us can be in the wrong. And I'm happy to see that Dr. Ify did apologize. And she came out to say, ah, you know, I sincerely apologize. I'm really sorry about this situation. And it was cute because her husband really did save her butt. Like, you know, she had to say, oh, call me my guy. Thank you so much for showing up. Because I, I can't imagine what their conversation was like at home. Because he would have probably been like, babe, this thing is not funny, yo. I want to hear from you. Do you guys think that Chicken should have come online to talk about what GRV's wife, if he did? Or do you think that if Chicken should have chested it? Do you think if he was in the wrong? Do you think that she was fair to say she's not going to pay him? Or should Chicken have done better in his work so that he would have been paid properly? Let me hear from you guys on the comments right below.